What is up everyone? It is me with ADHD and today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about a movie. A movie that affected me greatly and I think that it's a fantastic movie for people to watch who are struggling with any kind of mental health issue. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. Now it's not rare for me to connect with a movie emotionally. If I think back to like the last three movies I watched, I probably cried at all of them. But rarely does a movie resonate with me on a level that makes me feel like it's directed at me. That I can see so much of myself in a character and in the story that it makes me feel overwhelmed. Well that movie for me was A Silent Voice. A Silent Voice is an anime directed by Naoko Yamada based on a manga series with the same name and it is beautifully directed and animated. Now, I really wanted to keep this video as spoiler free as I could, but to speak into the themes and the connections that I felt, I wasn't able to do that. So there are a few spoilers in there. Regardless of that though, I really advise everyone to watch this movie because it is fantastic and it's just worth a watch. The movie follows Shoya, a boy who acts out and bullies those around him. In particular, a new girl at the school called Shoko, who is deaf. His bullying of her becomes so relentless that when she's forced to move schools and the teachers try to figure out who it was, his friends all turn on him and then ostracize him. To protect himself, he puts up emotional barriers by not looking at people in the eye and just disconnecting himself from those around him. Later on in life, Shoya, a late teenager now, is depressed, lonely, and after contemplating suicide, decides to seek redemption from those people that he hurt, especially Shoko. As Shoya works to repair those relationships, his barriers start to fall down and he feels happiness for the first time in a while. This is short-lived though as his newfound friendships are tested when they find out his past and how he treats Shoko. Shoka is a timid girl who just wants the best for everyone around her. But underneath that, she's racked with the guilt of her own disability, brought on through bullying and torment, leading her to feel like everyone around her is suffering because of her. This leads to some pretty emotionally devastating scenes, which eventually has every character questioning their own emotional shortcomings and working to change themselves for the better. This film is such a fantastic representation of dealing with the emotional innocence of children, the struggle with disability both physically and mentally, and the desperate struggle for redemption. As kids, the characters are naive, brash, and it's easy to see the childish cruelness in their actions. Whether it's Shoya's close friends egging him on like Naoka, whether it's Miki talking behind Shoko's back or Miyoko walking away instead of sticking up for Shoko. But particularly, it's Shoya. To most, he's a highly unlikable, relentless bully on the surface. But when I really look at him inside, I can see from the offset that he has a disconnect from the world around him. His distracted demeanor just cries out ADHD. He's just a lost kid that doesn't know how to express his emotions properly, so he masks them by bullying. It's his only real way of communicating with people. He doesn't know the damage that he's causing till it hurts the people around him, and then when his friends eventually turn their back on him, he can't understand why. Even his attempted suicide shows an example of in his own suffering, he didn't think of how what effect it would have on his mother and the rest of his family. There's a real sweet and honest side to Shoya's character. His guilt over how he acted as a child has created such insecurity that he's barely able to look people in the face. This is cleverly played out with the movie having a X mark placed across the faces of other characters. The more Shoya feels his guard coming down with each person, the X mark falls away to reveal their faces. This clever idea is best orchestrated in the theme park scene. Shoya and his friends go to the theme park together and all of his friends at this point are now visible. Shoya is particularly vulnerable at this point and even questions if it's okay for himself to feel happiness and friendship again, whether he even deserves it. 
only to have Naoko try to reintroduce him to another of their old school friends, bringing old painful memories flooding back. And in turn, the X reappears on Naoko's face, symbolizing Shoya has shut her out again. Shoya's insecurity about himself and his past eventually leads to him distancing himself from everyone but Shoko. He again masks his feelings, which is why he desperately throws himself in harm's way later on in an attempt to save her from harm and in turn, save himself. Shoka's character is, in my opinion, a great example of how disability doesn't only affect you physically, but it can also be difficult emotionally too. When we first meet her, she's not shy about her disability at all, and even when she's bullied for it, she doesn't allow herself to waver in her kindness. She doesn't allow herself to appear vulnerable. I think she really can see the pain in Shoya, even as a child, she tries to befriend him, backfiring unfortunately because Shoya doesn't really know how to handle this. When we meet her later though, it's a different story. She's still caring and kind, but a more timid, vulnerable character is there. Her experience with bullying and rejection has clearly damaged her. As she gets to know Shoya again and breaks down his insecurities, he builds her self-esteem up and confidence too. An example of this is a scene where she ties her hair back in public, revealing her hearing aids and a scar from when Shoya ripped out one of them as children. Looking at everybody else though, I think that all the characters bring real emotion and dimension to the table. Whether it's Shoka's younger sister who attempts to protect her older sister from both external pain and internal conflicts that result in her neglecting her own life, or Shoka's mother who is now a cold hardened character from years of seeing her daughter go through struggle. You have Shoya's mom who is a strong single parent doing her best to raise her children and grandchildren while still coming across as a positive person. Shoya's friend Tomohiro is a small, over-friendly outcast who clings onto Shoya to protect his only real friendship. Even Naoka, a mean-spirited girl on the outside, that when it comes down to it, just wants things to be back to the way they used to be when they were all friends as kids. When I think about why I had such a bond with this movie and its main protagonist, I think it's because I see so much of myself and my own life in him. I was a kid, lost in my own feelings, acting out, bullying others, not really knowing what I was doing, thinking that other people I hung out with my, my friends when they probably weren't. And I remember getting into my teens and being racked with guilt over this, seeing the people that I bullied and just wanting to cry, just feeling totally overwhelmed with shame and embarrassment, doing all I could to redeem myself from it. In reality though, I was just a kid trying to hide my own insecurities. And I know how it feels to think that you aren't deserving of love and friendship, feeling insecure about who you are, Many of us ADHDers know how it can be when you're in a spiral and it's difficult to look at people and you just feel disconnected from the world. I think in one way or another, we've all been there. A Silent Voice is without a doubt a wonderful anime and its animation is beautiful, it's clever, it's emotional and I can't recommend it enough to everyone. I think it touches on points of disability and mental health in a way that just really resonates. It really resonated with me and I think it would really resonate with a lot of people. And that's why I would love for all of my followers to watch it and just experience it for yourself. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I know that it's different from my normal content, but I really enjoyed making it and I would love to do more like this. So, Please, any of you that enjoyed it, please let me know and please send me any recommendations for movies that connect with you on a deeper level and I'll check them out too. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.